And so now that we have this relatively how we want it, what we need to do is create a background layer to work on. And so what I'm going to do is go to my top layer and just create a new layer here. Um, this new layer, I'm going to call it uh, BG for background. So now in this background layer, we are going to start working with some of these uh, wonderful uh, splatter brushes that we have. We're going to do some crazy stuff with them. Uh, these are pretty large. I'm going to make mine uh, a lot smaller here as I'm working. And I'm going to do some of my uh, adjustments to them. So I'm going to uh, go to my shape dynamics and turn off pen pressure. And let it change directions and change the roundness. Uh, and I'm going to go to scattering and increase the scatter, both axes, and increase the count. I'm also going to turn on transfer. And then I'm going to put the spacing down a little bit. So I have a kind of a splattery, speckly brush. And for this, I just need to get some type of a neutral color. Uh, you really want something in the browns or grays. And we're just going to fill this in. So let's see what happens here. Oh, my opacity is so low. I'm going to turn that back up. All right, so I'm just going to start by kind of filling in the whole thing. Um, and if I were to make my brush bigger and just slightly change the color a little bit, let's see. Yeah, let's make it a little, there we go. You can see how that's getting a texture in there. All right, uh, let's take this same brush um, and switch to the same, like do the same style with a different one. Let's see, uh, shape dynamics, scattering, transfer, uh, yeah, something like that looks good. All right, and we'll make that one smaller too. And we'll switch to a warmer version of the color. So I can just kind of get different ones coming in here. Still very, very brown, tans. Okay, not not too crazy here. Um, I want to make some lighter version of it here. Yeah, there you go. So you can kind of see it's very, very splattery, very speckly. Let's see how that looks. So that's how it's basically looking when you zoom in. Um, not too bad. So well then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, duplicate this a couple times. right? You can do that with the arrow tool as well. And we'll, we'll just um, rotate it, maybe shrink it, put it in there. All right. Um, and maybe we'll just go ahead and merge that down, do a control E to merge that down. So now it's all merged together. And then we'll, uh, this time we'll duplicate it by using the Alt tool. So we'll hold down Alt on the arrow tool and just create a drag copy. And we'll rotate that all the way around. Put it up over here. And let's see, let's see. I like I like how this is looking. I'm gonna control E here. I'm gonna add a couple more lines here. Just to kind of go over it a little bit. So I'm getting a pretty good look. I might cool this down, get a a cooled down color. Let's see. Something in the browns. But just not there you go, something like that. Let's see how that looks. Very light with my touch here. Alright. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and duplicate that again. Oh, there we go. Could duplicate that again. We'll just drag it into the new layer icon. Now this one here, what I want to do is see if I can make it just kind of fit in. Very good. And then uh, we'll merge that one down. Now what I want to do is create some different effects in here to make this not look like a just a single section. So I'm going to do a control A to select everything and control C and then control V. Now you might say, well, why didn't you just duplicate the layer? Well, this layer, unlike this bottom one, is actually cropped to just this one rectangle. It's no not bigger than that. So watch what happens when I move it out of the way. 
I'll just move it down so you see it's it's got that angled line to it. So what I want to do here is take this and make some alterations to it. So I might uh, use Control T and rotate it and bring it in like a line like this. Um, then maybe I'll do some more transformations like a distortion on it. Let's see here. Let's see, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here so I can see better and do some some distortions just to drag that out. Okay, and put that in like so. Now, what I want to do is just take this and let it be a little a little brighter. So we'll just do an adjustment on that and we'll just take the brightness and let's see something like that so nothing too crazy on it alright and then um, we'll just go ahead and do a control V to paste the original you know uh, cropped version on again and this time I'm going to rotate it and let it cross somewhere like like this and I'm just going to put this one in a different mode. Let's see. Overlay is a little too colorful. We'll put it in screen. No, let's say multiply. I like that. We'll just turn down the opacity some. Or better yet, we'll just click on the mask and we'll mask it. So let's go to the mask and we'll just get a kind of a different brush here. Just kind of gently paint it away here. Let's see, go into black. There you go. So you can kind of get, you know, and I really like this. Let's go ahead and just take a duplicate of this. Let's, um, let's duplicate that layer and we'll rotate it. And let's see what happens when it's here and maybe squished, maybe stretched out. Something like that. Yeah, this comes from um, looking at an artist called Lionel Feininger. He was a a uh, Cubist painter, American Cubist painter. And um, anyway, so you're just trying to create some type of effect here. Um, I'm going to change this second one from multiply to something else. Let's see what happens. Ooh, overlay is not so bad. I don't know, maybe just cycle through some of these, see how we do. Ooh color dodge yeah like that a lot okay so now I have a pretty interesting background and what we want to do is just take all of these and get them into one place so we're gonna put them into a folder and we'll call that a BG for background and we'll drag it underneath our work and see how that's looking alright at this point we'll just pause and get back to you on the flip side